We're here with Juan Morillos, and he's going to tell us some of the ingredients for making ceviche. Well, first and foremost, you need fresh fish. Um, the best fish you can find in California for ceviche is called halibut, which is really called wild. Uh, once you have that, then you need all the side ingredients. The other important ingredient is the lemon. Unfortunately, the lemon you find in California is not as bitter and strong as the one that's in Peru that's especially for good for fish, but the, the lime that you find here is, is good enough. Then you need a little bit of salt, a little bit of uh, ají serrano, which in Peru is usually rocoto, right, chile, but it's a, it's a different chile. Uh, and then you need uh, to have your base. Your base could be a couple of things. It could be made out of uh, mussels, chorros, or it could be made out of uh, oysters. Well, sorry, not oysters, uh, clams. Yeah. Right. So you have to find the correct balance between mixing the base with the lemon, the salt, a little bit of garlic, and um, it's just the rest is on your hand. Thank you. Yeah. Now that we have our lemons, we can make a ceviche. Now we're going to pick the oranges for our ceviche. Traditionally, it's made with uh, lime and then uh, onion. Onions, all right. Okay, but basically any citrus uh, will do the job. No, uh, so we have grapefruit here, orange, blah blah blah. Any one you you wanna use, it will do practically the same effect on the meat by cooking it only with the acid. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you wanna start with that? Sure, let's start. Perfect. Let's do it. So first we take the mahi-mahi. And we're going to cut it this in small pieces to accommodate on the plates, okay? Mm -hmm. And you have to be very careful with this because mahi-mahi is very delicate. Yeah, this is a very uh, delicate. delicate fish, you know. Um, many people don't like to cook this fish because uh, it can easy, easily get destroyed if you don't know how to cut it or you don't use the right tool, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, for current fish, always recommend this type of knives 
you know that it has the curve over here mm -hmm. and also it's very tiny so when you slide it through the meat you know it runs easy and it's not gonna destroy the meat All right. okay once you have it then you put the pieces on the plate you arrange it however you would like yes uh, there is not nothing specific in writing on how to do it you just put it piece by piece you know over there and accommodate the pieces uh, in that way you prefer mm -hmm. okay since uh, today what we're gonna try to do is to demonstrate how uh, the meat is being cooked with the citrus that's mm -hmm. the main goal okay so usually on ceviche carry on uh, a lot of uh, chile, cebo, uh, chile and onions, onions and, and stuff, you know. But we're gonna try to avoid it and just use it as a decoration. Decoration, okay. Right. But nonetheless, always uh, you use some salt on the fish. And then um, what you got here is uh, a little bit of chili. And uh, when we return, we're gonna go through uh, all of the stages on how stages. to do the ceviche. Okay? Thanks, love.